The largest coronavirus lockdown in the world is happening right now in India. The country's 1.3 billion people are required to stay at home for 21 days. And just over a week in, reports of harsh police crackdowns, homeless people being left stranded, and a surge in positive coronavirus cases illustrate the difficulties the country faces in enforcing a nationwide lockdown. With such a dense population, how does India plan to curb the spread of COVID-19? In a televised address to the nation on March 24th, Prime Minister Narendra Modi told 1.3 billion citizens they must stay home for 21 days. It was the world's largest coronavirus directive. Not even China, the world's most populous country, and the original epicenter of the outbreak imposed sweeping national measures. The time frame was tight. The lockdown would start at midnight, giving citizens only hours to prepare. The scenes that unfolded afterwards were unprecedented. Scores of people turned up at shops to get essentials, and people by the thousands were rushing to get home to their villages. State borders closed, businesses shut down, and transportation grinded to a halt. On the days following, Police were seen beating people with batons and publicly shaming those who were on the streets without essential reason. Experts say the lockdown is hitting India's most vulnerable the hardest. Most of the estimated 4 million plus homeless people in India have had no way of earning a living since the lockdown began. Some, who are part of the informal job sector and rely on daily cash earnings to eat, have found refuge at homeless shelters where there are no social distancing measures in place. In addition, thousands of poor migrants whose jobs in Indian cities have ended have taken to the streets to get home. The really important thing is to ensure that people, that the poor especially, the people who daily wage laborers, etc., are supported through this period. I mean, the middle class will certainly manage to survive for 21 days. But the people who, find, who live on the margins will find it difficult to do that. And it's really imperative that the government is aware of that and takes all measures to deal with that. The country's finance minister has announced a $23 billion relief package for the poor, farmers, women and the disabled. We do not want anyone to remain hungry. As the start of April, India has recorded more than 2,000 cases of COVID-19. But the numbers don't reveal the extent of the pandemic, as health experts say India's capacity to test is poor. Figures by the health ministry show there is one doctor per 11,600 people, one isolation bed per 84,000 people, and a total of 40,000 ventilators for 1.37 billion people. There are fears that without proper intervention, more than a million Indians could contract the virus by its expected peak in May. And I really hope that the government uses this 21-day period to prepare, to make sure that adequate beds are available, that adequate quarantining facilities are available, that adequate PPE is available, and that adequate tests are available. All of these must come together. One thing is clear. The world's largest lockdown isn't an easy feat. And with an already stretched healthcare system, experts say India will need to ramp up its testing, isolate confirmed cases, including the most vulnerable, and make sure to secure crucial protective equipment for its healthcare workers. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.